So we've split out our reducers into separate files depending on what state they manage. And we've combined them together using the combined reducers helper method available to us from Redux. Now in our store, we can get rid of this function that we had created and instead actually import the root reducer from our reducers folder. And I forgot the from here. So now our store can be accessed using the to do's reducer and the visibility filter reducer. Let's go into the to do's reducer. Here, as we know, we need to pass in an action to the reducer to be able to modify the state. What are the two actions that we're looking for? One of them is to add a to do and the other one is to toggle the to do to either completed or incomplete. So let's get rid of the state here and we'll use a switch statement to check which action is passed by using the action.type. And the first type we'll check for is the add to do. So here we'll do something and then we have the toggle to do action. So we'll say toggle to do and we'll do something over here. In case nothing matches, we'll just return the default state. So when the user tries to add a new to do, we need to return a new state with that to do. So here we'll return an array in which we'll pass in the original array using the spread operator. And then we'll add a new value to it, which will be an object, which will have an ID, which will be the action.id, the text, which will be the action.text. That is the text of the to do. And by default, we'll give it a completed set to false. In the toggle to do, we'll map over the to do's and change the completed status. So we'll say return state.map, get each to do, and then we'll check if to do.id is equal equal to the action.id. We'll use the ternary operator here. We'll pass in the actual to do, and then we'll update the completed value to the opposite of the existing value. And in case it doesn't match, then we'll leave the to do as it is. So now that we have the reducer set up, let's start connecting it to our React Native app. Let's go to the add to do container. Here we have a text input for which we'll give an initial value. That initial value we can set by using the local state. So we'll say state set text equal to an empty value. And here let's pass in that value. We'll say value this.state.text. Also, we'll put in an on change text, which will update the state when the text is changed. So we'll say this dot set state and pass in the text. Obviously this text has to come from here. So now whenever the user types, this dot set state will be called and this text will be updated. Also, let's remove the alert from here and instead let's call a this dot add to do method here. And let's pass in this dot state dot text to it. So here let's create that method add to do it takes the text and here we'll update our Redux store. To be able to access our Redux store, we're going to have to connect this to Redux. So here on top, we'll import connect from React Redux. This is a helper method provided to us by it. And all we need to do over here is say connect with empty braces. And after that, pass in the component you want to connect to. Now that our store is connected to our component, we can easily dispatch actions to our store. So coming here inside the add to do method, we'll say this dot props dot dispatch. As you know, each action needs to have a type. So the type that we want to call right now is add to do. And the value we want to pass it is the text. Also, once this action is dispatched, we want to reset the text input to be empty. So we'll say this dot set state and set the text to an empty text. So when the user enters a text in the text input and clicks the add button, we dispatch an action to our reducer. So we come here to our reducer. We just dispatch this add to do action. That action will add a new to do. Now we need to set up the component that actually displays the added to do's that we'll do inside our components folder. So here let's create a to do list component. This component by itself will have no knowledge of Redux. We'll just use it to display the data. So here I'm just going to create a functional component using my snippet. We'll call it to do list. The props that we need over here, we'll just deconstruct them. So we'll need the to do's and we'll need a toggle to do method. Now inside the to do list, let's get rid of this text here and also these styles. Here we'll map over all the to do's. So we'll say to do's dot map. 
get each to do and for that we'll display a component so what we want is we want to get the touchable opacity pass it in here and inside that we need a text and we'll pass in the to do dot text for the touchable opacity we'll pass in a key for each item so that it's unique so we'll say to do dot id and we'll also pass in a non press here which will be the toggle to do method and as a parameter it'll take the to do dot id Later, we'll link this toggle to do to our to do's reducer so that it calls this method and it toggles the to do. Let's also start this text by giving it a font size of 24. And depending if the status is completed or incomplete, we'll show a line through the particular item. So for that, we'll use something known as text decoration line. We'll check if to do dot completed is true, then we'll put in a line through. Otherwise, we'll pass in none. So our UI component is created now, but we'll connect that to Redux using a container. So let's create a container here and let's call it visible to do's. For now, I'm just going to import connect from react Redux. I'll import the to do list component that we just created from our components slash to do list. And what we'll do is we'll say export default connect and connect that to our to-do list. So this is where we'll tell our to-do list component, which is a dumb component, that here, this is the toggle to-do function, and this is the state. For that, we'll use the map state to props and map dispatch to prop methods. So it's a map state to props. We have the state with it. And here we'll say to-dos. We'll set that to state dot to-dos. Similarly here, we have const map dispatch to props it has a dispatch method available here we'll map the toggle to do method to dispatch our action so we'll say toggle to do takes the id and it points to dispatch the type is toggle to do and it takes in the id next we need to just pass these into the connect method so the first one is always map state to props and the second one is map dispatch to props now let's come to our to do app and here in this empty view we're going to pass in the visible to do's so we'll say import visible to do's from containers slash visible to do's let's pass that in here now so now let's test this out and create our first to do i'll say create new video click the add button and we see we're getting our new to do However, we're getting an error which says each child should have a unique key. That's because in our to do's reducer, we're not passing in this ID when we create the new to do. We'll just keep track of the to do here. So we'll say let next ID is equal to zero. And every time a to do is created, we'll just update that by saying next ID plus plus. Now let's create it and we see our to do is coming up. We'll also just add some styles here to just make it look slightly better by saying style and give it a padding of 20. There we get our to-do. And if we tap the to-do, we see that it gets a strike through. Tap it again and it gets toggled to incomplete. So we managed to create our to-do app. As of now, we haven't cleaned up some of the things. So in the last video, what we'll do is we'll clean up our code. I'll give you an intro into how to use action types and we'll put in our actions into action creators. The advantage of that will be that we won't have to duplicate this text everywhere, we can just call in that function.